Private Eye has been going through a very purple patch for a long time, and you, you mentioned how ripe the period is for is right. satire. What is the state of satire at the moment, do you think? I think it's pretty good. It does tend to go in waves, and you have to be honest, it's, it's partly what's going on. You know, the Thatcher-Reagan era wasn't full of brilliant satire entirely by accident. Um, it was because when things are polarised, when personalities are very strong, um, satire gets sort of more popular. And there are periods, I'm, you know, Private Eye in the early Blair years, it was just entirely people saying, can you leave Blair alone? What, you want the Tories back, do you? Thank you very much. You know, there was absolutely no appetite for it. Um, and we were ruining the party by suggesting Mr Blair might have some faults and there were some things he wasn't doing perfectly. So it does go like that. But at the moment, I think we're in... Um, you know, and it's not just us. Look at the, you know, American television and, you know, those um, other um, sort of outlets are doing very well. When the Daily Mail ran its uh, photograph of Nicola Sturgeon and Theresa May and their legs yes. this week, uh, Sarah Vine appeared on uh, The World at One to talk about that and yes. said, well, look, it's the sort of picture you would see in private eye. Yes. Did you hear that? Yes, but we'd have put a joke on it. What did you think of the fact it was there in that form? Maybe it didn't need a caption in your view. Um, it no, need a bubble. Oddly enough, Private Eye had put a picture of Nicola Sturgeon and um, Theresa May on the previous cover. But, you know, stupid me, I'd put a joke about um, the union on instead of focusing on their legs. And on the subject of the EU, are, yes. you, are you a moaner? Um, yes. Um, and, um, you think you should go on moaning about it or should you get over it? Um, and suck it up, yeah. and what bit of it don't I get? Yeah, yeah. you lost. Uh, you lost, loser, failing, sad, hashtag... You don't need me here. Go Carry home. On. Yeah, uh, no, I, I know the arguments, but I'm afraid... Um, no, I'm going on. Why? As I keep trying to explain to people who are very, very upset about this, um, uh, democracy works by people continuing to argue um, about the issues involved. And when someone wins an election, the opposition doesn't say, that's it, thank you very much, we're going home for the next five years. You continue with the argument, because it is in everyone's interests for you to present those points of view. Ian Heslop, thank you.